What became obvious with Barstool from the very beginning, people are way more interested in the unique personality driven side. We joke most of the time. It's meant to be a vacation from life. The reality show aspect of what we do, that's what people like. One more round. Chef not scared. Shut the fuck up. First round knockout. This is just Haymaker City. That ain't no fun. There's a lot of media and a lot of cameras around here. Well, they don't know it's me, so I'm good. You don't care about the gamblers. And they put me in the SWAT room. There's like guns and fucking ammo. Freedom! You're at my skinny jeans, Roger. Somebody's gonna fight for the little people. Are you high? They got marijuanas? KB knows sweat, swag. Can we end the coke thing? I don't want that to be the narrative. Comments are officially back. You are welcome. Music. Oh I'm a big Rocket fan now. <laughs> oh, you got to be part of Barstool Gold to comment. Dripping, dripping, dripping. Go, 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 pizza. Rookie score. No, it's not a rookie score. You're a rookie. If you told me like 10 years ago I'd be pizza on the side of the road in New York at Paris Hilton, I would have said you're a maniac. But here we are. What's really important to me is that we move to a much better place, but that it stays Barstool. They're going to find a way to ruin that office also. The guys here left this place an absolute mess. I didn't touch that food. I didn't realize there was oh. really food even over there. Our boy Ryan Whitney has a huge announcement. The spit chick. Who are we, boys? We have a drink now? You are so fucking dumb rigged to even be mentioning that I should play you. Why can't you play him ever again? Nobody does gamble like we do. Because nobody gambles like we do. Relax, buddy. I have action coming out my ass. The hole is so deep. I'm basically down a hundred. <laughs> I mean, it's not good. Answer the internet. I know a guy who killed someone. Woo! I'm not into four inch dicks either. She must be really good at sucking dick. Come loudly every time you fart. Me, us. Right. See you later. Get the fuck out of here, balls. I'm in motherfucking New York, bitch. I thought this shit was going to be hot. Hey, Smitty, I heard you once fired an RPG in a video game, you squid. What the fuck you say to me, you little shit? I've seen a lot of your drooling videos. You're a disgrace. Table setter. Party starter. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. <coughs> nope. 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 <coughs> I might not die. Cousin Murray. Are you okay? It's getting steamy, bear 550! I never slept past 2.30. My body was fighting against my body. That's when you really start becoming successful. We thought of a bitch, he wants to go back! <laughs> oh my god! Shakes <laughs> <laughs> out of the office. Yeah, The so world's much. most refreshing podcast. Love you, Nick Jonas. I love you so much. As the GM, what are their needs? Uh, talent. Stocks. Stocks. This is an award show. You're supposed to fucking dress up. Dave Fortnoy, highly agitated. If you're not dressed up, bad. Real bad. I'll be dressed up next year when I'm here. Well, we'll see if you're here. Guilty. <laughs> I just had to fire Francis. We came in peace. This fucking motherfucker, like, is hurting our show. Ellie Schnitt, what does she do? If I wake up in the morning, yawn, stretch, and place two phone calls, they'll be on the fucking street. <laughs> I could have smashed right your fucking your head against face. the window like a fucking bug, but I chose not to. Rico Bosco is the flaccid, impotent, Dick of Barstool Sports. Uh, you're not even on the show. You <laughs> fucking play that? That's why you should fucking respect me. I'd like to slam you through a fucking wall uh, right now. I'm gonna kick his ass. I'm shooting this joint up. Take your L's and quit being a little bitch. You're an idiot. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dude. Put it up when you get it. You're a 22 year old punk. Do one thing and see if you can do it right. I wanna, I wanna hold you till I die. die. Do we both break down and cry? Then what the fucking game is broken? I wanna hold you till the fear in me subsides. Shut the fuck up! I got this little pip squeak with weird hair trying to uh, barricade me. Are there commercials? Oh no! The savages going out swinging! We've never had a Stanley Cup. This magic rat, he might just do it. I was assaulted in broad daylight. You just fucking went up to Tiger Woods and smacked him on the arm. First time ever. The big brain. Let's go. Ah! Ah! You need $100,000? At least. Is that a wild guess, right? Just a wild guess. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Baby, titty, bitch, baby. Ah, fuck you, mother. Tell your friend. I need winner. You see your dumb face right now? Everyone's gonna smash it when they fucking lose. You gotta phase him out and find the new friend. Frankie. Would I drop out? It's a big call. This interview's done. I don't even know your name, Croc Kid. And you walk in and you just sit down? What are you crazy? Hey!
Excuse me? Suddenly, I stumbled upon a revelation. Oh, oh shit. Oh, she's a hooker. Put it into the vagina. Let the tea bag steep. Let the tea bag steep. Do we just sound crazy? Screaming, ranting. Okay. I just blacked out real quick. Don't worry, I'll back. What's up, mommy? That is so high. Go to bed. Smokes weed. Eats a bocce. You just gotta stay forever young, bro. Man, I love you. How can anybody be as stupid as that floppy haired muppet? Oh, Brett, right, you're still here? Dana White just walks in the building and Robbie daps it up and hugs him like their fucking uncle and nephew. This is Liz. She got in a major car crash and has a good breath. How you doing? That's a nice way to drink some more. So HBO has been with me three days. I think it's gonna be it. Portnoy's fans worship him like a third world dictator. These are for when my enemies fail. Oh, dead spin. They're all falling. Today is the rundown. Pete, you hearing this, bud? <laughs> Pete, the Wi-Fi! Pete, you suck. What the fuck, Pete? We're going on the internet? No. Pete can't come. Someone tell fucking all this is Pete is fired. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for Akron. What do you just say? <laughs> out. You're out. You're, out. <laughs> You're fucking dead. When you think Riggs, you think cross-eyed fuck. And the docs are uncrossed. KFC Radio returns to Broadway. Where we belong. Unions are for pussies. Battle Royale now brewing between David Portnoy and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Donald Trump Jr. just tweeted out, picking a fight with Stuart Presidente, probably the biggest mistake. It's really just narcissism trying to get a retweet from the president. Oh, 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 my God. oh my God! He wrecked! He fucking wrecked! <laughs> that was awesome. Avocado Ross is one of the top craziest stories we've had at Barstool. He was upset about an Instagram post that said, I want to spank you like the disrespectful avocado you are. He's like, I'm getting catfished. Dude, who are you? I was supposed to interview you and my people shut it down. Megan, we're all one people. I'm going to Barstool, baby. We have to make some content. Baby periods in women, okay? okay? Is it like the shining? Two days out of the week, sort of, yeah. Similar giblets, salt, pepper, bouillon, celery, put on your mashed potatoes, you're good to go. <laughs> What we are going to give to you, which no one else can give to you the way we do, is people. And ultimately, putting your brand with people is what is going to make your brand break through. From the basement to the penthouse. House, 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 house. The reason Barstool is popular is because we appeal to 95% of normal people. The 5% who hate that, they go around, hey, Barstool's the devil, they're the worst, we hate them. I don't care about them. For the common man, by the common man is not just a slogan. When the common man needs help, Barstool is there. You see all the stuff that Barstool does to help out people in need, to try and create special moments for people, because the stoolies are super passionate, and we try to reward them for that as much as we can. Three years ago, we had under 15 employees, and we had three podcasts. We are now a top 10 digital publisher in the US. We are the single fastest growing sports and lifestyle brand in social. We're a top six podcast network. We're the number one streaming channel on Sirius XM, and we have two of the biggest shows on Snapchat. There is no one, and I mean no one, that connects with an audience the way we do. Barstool Sports. I actually like those guys sometimes. I actually like this sometimes. You guys keep it super real. That's why I like listening. Barstool basically increases the quality of my life. That would not be possible without you, without your setting that all up. That should be a nice reminder to every single person in these walls why you're here. Barstool has built an incredible brand that is very sticky. We believe in honesty and authenticity, and we want to be around people who we think have something to say. It looks like Shrek's tongue. You monetize chaos. Yeah, I monetize chaos, but I'm not happy about it. It bothers me greatly. It bothers me greatly. I thought it, I wrote it, I'm on it, you fold it. I beat the beat up, leave it battered and broken. Got the herb bro, cause it's blown on schedule. The impact's indelible, could wrap a short like vegetables. Eat them up, quit, devour the competition. Wayne Jet is bad news like black cats and superstitions. I'm on a mission. This bit rhymes with ingenuity, your shit is too raw, and you know I spit it truthfully.